So a central line is a very thin, flexible catheter that we put into little babies who are too premature or sick so that we can give them life-saving nutrition, fluids, and antibiotics for weeks at a time. So we don't have to keep poking them for a peripheral IV. It's done over sterile towels. The area is really wiped very um, aseptically at the time that the line is placed. And one of our specially trained nurses um, or physicians are the ones who actually place the line. Any bacteria on the skin, if we don't use very aseptic precautions and we maintain that line over a long time, we worry that some of those bacteria could go in and then cause a bloodstream infection that can lead to a lot of sickness and perhaps death too. Anytime we change tubing for new nutritional solutions, which we order every single day and uh, reattach to that central line, we have to be extremely careful um, during those processes to do it as cleanly as possible. So we just hit two years of CLABC0, which essentially is central light associated bloodstream infection that we haven't had in our unit for two years now. And we've had 600 plus central lines and 10,000 plus central line days that we've maintained and we haven't had an infection in two years. So it's a huge, huge patient safety milestone. To be able to say that you have gone two full years in a neonatal ICU without a line infection is, is a huge accomplishment. We had this new initiative where we've started putting the number of days a central line has been in up on the doors for each patient. So when the team is rounding on the patient every morning, they're able to see how long a central line has been in and then make sure that it's taken out in time so that it's not beyond a range that we've decided could be harmful for a patient. We designed a cart that would be specially designated for the team to use for this purpose of inserting lines and taking care of lines. So it has all of the equipment that you would need to appropriately insert the line or care for the line all in one place. So once uh, that procedure is underway, nobody is walking away to get something else. We make sure that the cart is stocked. It has everything that they need. We are all immensely proud of the pick line team, the physicians, so many other services, the nursing team at the bedside, the infection prevention team, the nutrition team, um, the residents, the fellows, the physicians, everybody. It takes a whole village to make sure that we are all staying together to follow the protocols that we have for the unit and making sure that the babies don't get an infection. And we're immensely, immensely proud of all the hard work that's gone into it for the past Past two years. So everyone should be really proud of everything that they've accomplished. This is a huge milestone for us to reach. I think sometimes we take it for granted, but it really shows how hard everyone worked to be able to get here. It's, it doesn't happen by accident. So to say that we are able to keep patients from getting an infection in that scenario is really quite amazing. And, and we've done it for a year before, but to, to say that we've gone two years is um, definitely next level.